same time, we have a beef farm here, 24 acres is what I own. We work within that. Um, we try to keep it tight and keep a good stocking rate. And as well as that, maintain the place. We just have 20 suckler cows, mostly Albrex, purebred Albrex, but we have some crossbred Albrex as well. I've had an Albrex bull for the last 12, 14 years. And we started in then, we found them to be a very good cattle. They thrive, they grow. And in the last couple of years now, we've got into more of the purebred side of things. It was the herd won the award. It was the overall. We won it on the basis of our um, calving index. That's really the Albrecht bull showed on that because they have a shorter gestation. And as well as that, they have a small, easy, small handy calf, easy board. So the cow doesn't get any hardship. So she comes back around in heat and goes back in calf a lot quicker. They're very good to gain weight. And what I like about them is they gain weight on lower inputs. They just put on weight on the grass shave here, and that's all they're on is grass. Try to make the silage as good as you can, have it dry, keep up the DMD on it. The fact that the award was given independently, and I mean, it just gives you a great boost to your confidence. It's quite an honour to get it. I'd like to keep going, you're always trying to improve. If you're not trying to improve, if I sell a man a bullock, I'd like him to make something out of him. Because if he doesn't make something out of him, he won't put his hand up in the mark the next day. And that's what it's about, like you're trying to improve what you have. And then as well as that, to pass it on and hopefully they will turn a profit on it and come back. You don't do it if you don't like it. And if you like it, it makes it an awful lot easier. We have a space on this earth and we have to mind it. I have no intentions of going and buying any more land, I'll put it that way to you.